Hi everybody, welcome to AI DIY. Now yesterday, a friend of mine in the e-com business asked me to host uh, one of the webinars she was helping, there about 50 people there. The AI person that they were gonna use to show how to do product photography in AI, or at least take your samples and put them in AI for product photography, uh, for things like Amazon or Shopify, whatever the, the, the shops are. He didn't show up, asked me to do it. It was sort of last second. I found a couple AI tools that could do it kind of okay and basically said, just keep watching that space. Overnight, I kind of thought, you know what, given a bit of time, I could actually do this. So watch this if you'd like to know how to do some AI manipulation so you can take some lifestyle photos of your existing product. You know, you get it from the factory. It's just a plain background. That's your, your first page of cover thing you have to do, but you want to have some lifestyle photos. So I'm not a photographer. I took a little while to do it. With a little bit more time, you can do it even better. Also, just as a note, obviously, whatever online store you're selling at, know the rules regarding the photography. There might be one that says that you can't use any eye at all. Don't even know. Yeah, but this is just how to do it. This is how I did it. And you can definitely do it better, but I'll show you the steps. Thank you for tuning in. Okay, welcome back. Now, I'm gonna do this step-by-step -step best I can. So the person that runs the Ecom group, her name's Angela, I've known her for years. Uh, we used to go to, you know, different selling groups together. Now, she basically says at the moment, factories will send you their product photography pretty much with a blank canvas, something like this. So I've gone to Alibaba, which obviously, everybody at least does their, their product research, at least partially on this, to, to go search for your factory. So I found this, fruit bowl, we'll call it a fruit bowl, salad bowl, it doesn't really matter. My intention is to basically put this on a really, in a really fancy kitchen and put some appealing looking fruit in there, maybe some people laughing. I mean, it doesn't have to be too serious, I'm not gonna be using this product photography, but the, the main reason I'm doing it like this is I want an actual product. And I'm just gonna go to, you know, Dolly or Leonardo or whatever and say, give me a fruit bowl. I want it to be the actual fruit bowl that's gonna be sent to you, and in this case, it's, this is an actual one coming from Alibaba. So this is the one we're gonna extract and this is what they're gonna use. And I know for a fact, I'm gonna go to generate my background first. So we'll go over to Leonardo. I've pre-done the prompts. Generate. Okay. Man, I, I like Leonardo. All right. There's already fruit bowls in there. There's already fruit bowls there. I don't think that's too much. I'm gonna upscale this image a little bit. I'm gonna post-production remove these later in Canva, which is part of the process here, cool. That's very photorealistic. I, I like this, I like this a lot. I, I can't believe it, it's come this far. So, I'm gonna download this image. Okay, now we're into Canva. I'm gonna create a new design. We're going to import the file, custom design, create new design. Now we're going to go ahead and add that fruit bowl. Now we're going to remove the background I'm Going to edit photo. This is a paid feature, edit background remover. I'm going to put it on here. Yep. So we're going to add shadows. Okay, we kind of like that, we kind of like that. And I'm just gonna upscale this image. Just give it a bit of clarity. Edit photo, go to adjust. I don't really like how bright it sort of looks. So I'm gonna take it down a notch. There's a little bit of a dark kitchen. I'm gonna auto adjust that a little bit. Maybe make it a little bit brighter. That's pretty good. I do sort of like that. So you're gonna select on the bowl. I'm gonna to go to edit photo. And then we're gonna to go to magic edit. I'm just gonna choose area. I'm just gonna put it in here, hoping this works. Describe your edit. Put some oranges and apples in this bowl. Generate. There you go, it's got some apples. I'm gonna remove these fruit bowls because they look really out of place. And we're not trying to sell these fruit bowls. Let's sort of remove them. Moving there, we'll go. We'll get rid of that reflection too. 
And these shadows. You know, I don't love it, but... You know... Cool. All right. It's kind of okay. It's kind of okay. You know, we might put something here. Well, maybe a coffee machine. All right, here we go. Magic edit. Brush over. All right. You know, I'm just going to go with that. We're not trying to make it perfect. We're just trying to show you what you can do. And you can play with it a lot more than I can. Um, but I would have been happy with something like this when I had my previous listing. Something where I could take the background out, add fruit to it, whatever. Something to get started while you're waiting for actual photos. And that's the actual product, right? So I've added the coffee machine. I've added some fruit in the bowl. It's something. And mind you, you know, if it's your product, like I'm spending like an hour on this. Your product, you're going to spend like three hours on it. You're going to get it just perfect. I'm just showing you what's possible. Yeah, and if you like this or you are interested in this sort of content, subscribe below, hit the bell, um, go to AIDIY.tech, which is my website. You can read through the blogs. Uh, make a donation if you'd like to uh, Love Heart Travel, which is loveheart.org. And they go out and they organize trips for the JFF Foundation to bring people out um, to witness and help with life-saving and life-enhancing eye surgery, cataract removal, um, artificial eyes, glasses from donations. I went on a trip last year. Fantastic. It just totally changes your perspective on humanity. So, um, yeah. And, um, we'll just go back to the video. Okay. Let's, let's get this going. You know, you go, we'll go classy. And when you add this thing in, we'll just gonna add a bit of branding in here, which we've done. The cool thing about this, you select the colors and it's gonna pick stuff from here. So try to fit, it'll try to fit. Yeah, cool. Oh, that's our brand. I don't know about branding about where it should be. I don't know. Now, what we've done, we've, I'll just do a summary. We've taken the bowl, we just enhanced it a little bit. We haven't really changed the bowl, but we just enhanced it to try to fit in with the colors, the light. Um, I'm really not a designer, so I, I can kind of see that it's not perfect, but I'm just showing what you can do as far as the AI stuff. You know, as far as the tap, you know, that's not great. Gave it a brand name, Orchard Lakes Bamboo Elegance Range. I think that's fancy. When I removed the original fruit bowls were there, it just kind of left the background looking a little bit dodged. So I just had that ca coffee machine to cover it up. But it took away the reflection of the fruit bowl off the countertop there pretty well. So I'm going to extract that. All I used was Leonardo, and and I basically chose the kitchen, dropped in the background. I, I dropped into Canva. I added a little bit of shadow in here. You can add the shadow as you sort of want. The idea is the shadow gives it a little bit more, makes it seems a little bit more in place. I'm not totally happy with the, with the brightness of it, but and maybe it needs to come up a little bit. I don't know. Maybe it needs to be a bit larger. I don't know, but we went to the magic edit thing, highlighted that area. It puts up apples in there. If you don't like it, just keep hitting regenerate. That's what I did. I kept doing that and that, and it eventually came up with those. Keep going with it. You have unlimited as long as you have the paid plan like I do. I think it's like 14 bucks a month. I don't know. It's not a lot, but it's certainly a lot cheaper than, you know, waiting for photos and you only have that one transparent background image that's there uh, on your Amazon listing. So that's that. So. We're just going to go ahead and, um, yeah, we're going to go with that. So that's what I was able to do. And, um, yeah, I wouldn't go putting this on mine, but the more you play with it, uh, the better it'll be. That's definitely a lot better than how I presented it the other day or yesterday to the e-com group. Obviously, Leonardo is an AI tool, but with the AI tools that are blended into Canva, you can get some sort of a thing to start off until your product photography comes out. So... Thanks for joining in. I hope you enjoyed this episode.